Hi, uh, I'm Anvita. And I'm Alice, and we built a decentralized fake news detector. So this is a problem that I'm sure we're all pretty intimately familiar with over the last year, but I'll go ahead and try and motivate it one more time for you. So we live in this age of information overload. There are so many different channels of information, regular news channels, social media, our peers. And on top of that, we don't know who to trust. There are all these accusations flying around about biased news, fake news, Russian news. How do we know what is the truth? This became especially salient during our last presidential election. Um, at that time, there were 159 million visits to supposed fake news websites and 251,000 mentions of fake news on Twitter, many of them probably by our president. So rather than continue to relying on um, central authorities to be gatekeepers of the truth, we wanted to find a way to see if we could give power back to the people and um, make a community-driven solution to finding the truth. So that's where our fake news detector comes in. Of course, we recognize there are probably some questions you have. Can truth really be determined by consensus? And we think that we have um, figured that out, so I'll let Envita explain exactly how that works. Yeah. So our fake news detector has three main advantages. The first is that it's decentralized, so anyone can participate, question the truth, and vote. Uh, no authority gets more of a say. It's immutable. The outcomes of uh, the consensus are stored on the blockchain, and they're publicly viewable by all. Every participant has skin in the game because um, they're betting real money and real reputation, and what they're doing is shown publicly. And then truth is automatically decided by a public protocol and the smart contract, and nobody can tamper with this protocol. So how does it work specifically? Our system is very analogous to a betting market. Anyone can open a market by posting an article that they want to know whether it's true or not. Um, and then they can stake a bet on whether the article is true or fake news. Um, they can cast uh, their vote until some deadline. And on the other side, we have reporters who are randomly nominated to decide the consensus um, when the market closes, and they stake reputation on the outcome. Bets are redistributed to the correct voters and reporters in proportion to how much they stake. So we recognize you have some questions, such as what are the intensive to incentives to participate? Uh, you earn money if you're right, and you help your community fight fake news. Um, and what about bad actors? So this is a huge problem. And so in our system, consensus is only decided by reporters and not voters. So uh, they can't sway the outcome because the two are very separate. Um, also, you stake real money when you vote. So you have a disincentive to be wrong. Uh, and so why do we trust these reporters to vote according to the truth? Uh, to be a reporter, you have to associate with an identity. Uh, reputation and voting history is public and immutable, so people know who's trustworthy and who's not. In addition, we store reputation for each voter, and reporters lose the privilege to report if their reputation falls below some minimum threshold. They have a monetary incentive to agree with what's right because they get a cut of the, of the winnings in each bet, um, and that incentive increases as you gain reputation. And lastly, they are randomly selected, and no third party can influence the selection process. So now we have a demo for you. Um, so this is our fake news site. Uh, I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit. D2. Okay. Uh, so see, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. <laughs> so you're voting here. You're able to put in like a specific amount of money that you want. Um, and the transaction goes through MetaMask, through the power of video editing that's done quickly. <laughs> and you see that the votes are uh, showing up. Now I'm posting an article. So I went to the sketchiest site I could find, found a very strange article, decided to post it, being approved quickly through the power of editing. Um, going down, you see the article showed up there. And then now I'm a reporter, so I see how much reputation I have. I see which articles that I can vote on. And I actually go through, I decide this is fake news, and I stake three reputation coins on it. So that's submitted, proved quickly. Now I only have 12 reputation points until the market closes. And so this is uh, all on our website, uh, and you can test this out for yourself. Thanks. Thank you.